He buried too many children. He saw plagues and flood and war. He was betrayed by those closest to him. He was surrounded by the corrupt and the inept and the endlessly ambitious. While critics are wrong to call Marcus Aurelius depressing or negative, he was unquestionably in pain, tired and frustrated. This was a man who quite understandably found himself, as we all do, tired of life. Yet despite the role that suicide had played in the history of Stoicism and the more accepted place it had in Roman history, Marcus did not choose that route. He did not blame anyone. He did not resent the hand he was dealt or the painful cards he had to play. He soldiered on. He found respite in physical activity and his work. He tried, as we talked about recently, to focus on the beauty amid the ugliness of life. He was brave enough to ask for help, as we have also talked about. Marcus Aurelius not only kept getting out of bed each morning, but he pushed himself to do it early. He reminded himself in those very same pages of meditations the reasons why he was here on this planet, what his nature demanded of him, what his duty was. He carried on and found relief and purpose, and even joy in this. No matter who you are or what you're going through, the same thing is available to you. Inside your soul, Marcus Aurelius would remind you, there is peace that you can retreat to anytime you like. It's okay that you're tired. It's understandable and perfectly acceptable. Just use the resources available to you. Most of all, stick around. <laughs>